beautifully clad in their ceremonial garments. The have military, the, the military for yes. this time, uh, they have. It isn't just they this lived, time. They have it lived isn't just this time. Bit. When, yeah. if the military really th look at the parades that we have, when we uh, on national days and mm. look at what the military do, you see, this is one event that occupied our minds for, for. How many days? For a week. A week. Whole exactly. Week, yeah. now, so we were able to see the military for a week. Mm -hmm. Now, in most days, we see them for that one day. Yeah. Yeah. But what we're seeing in the whole week is what we actually see. Yes. Now, I need to, to make a correction here. I actually gave the buffalo the role of the... Uh, no, I know. Yes. Yeah. Joe is actually a buffalo. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Joe is a buffalo. Yes, it's a buffalo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still, mm. some right. of those attributes the same, though. Same. Yeah. Uh, but not I think it's more some powerful. Of them, of not it's more quite. Powerful. Not mm. quite. Of course, not it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, you know, exist in in, in uh, solitary like mm. uh, like the rhino would. Mm. Of course, as exists amongst amongst herds. But w what is? You see, this is now. Uh, what is significant? If mm. you look at the qualities of a buffalo, they they, they differ distinctly from that mm. of uh, of a rhino. Yeah. In this. Buffaloes are known to have a long memory and they even hold a grudge. <laughs> yeah. They don't forget, they don't forgive, and they'll keep looking for you. Worse still, if you wound a buffalo, mm -hmm. uh, you might as well leave the country. <laughs> <laughs> it is argued it will follow you. It will remember. Mm. Yes, long memory. Mm. Yeah. So if we look at the attribute of a long memory, yeah. then you understand why. But again, mm. one of the most lures will refer to someone who's brave as a thorn. Thuanakili is the name you give to a cockerel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jogo. Jogo, yes, yeah, that's Thuan. Mm. But it's an attribute that is given to people who are considered fearless. Okay. And I think if you've ever seen a cockfight, as we mm. call it, yeah. okay, you will understand why it is. And if you look at, you know, there are these, you, you see some of these tame cockerels that have been fed on all manner of antibiotics. Forget these ones. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm referring to cockerels, the, the, the worm eating the, variety, uh -huh. the road runners, yeah, and the mm. tall ones. Yeah. 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 They tend to be fierce. Mm. If, if, if you grew up in the village and you saw this, one of the things you didn't joke around with the cockerel, it'll come after you. Yes. It'll fight you. Mm. It'll come after you. Even if you grow it'll come after you. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't back off. Mm -hmm. Small as it may be, even a child is bigger than a cockerel, yeah. Yeah. but it's not going to back off from a fight. Mm -hmm. Anyway, please carry on with the pictures. <laughs> I, I love them. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, former Attorney General Charles Njojo arriving at the Moy Kabrak home was, is also pictured right there. One of those people that you consider has lived through Kenya's history. Yeah. So it's just well documented, I think, and beautifully so. Wananchi came out in droves. And then you have students here with uh, the newspapers, such a high school students from pro, uh, follow the proceedings of the institution while they're reading... Uh, the, the standard actually so pretty interesting beautiful uh, pictures yeah. I think the newspapers from uh, the last week Wednesday mm -hmm. to today these are for keeps yeah mm. because they tell you the story the history a uh, significant portion of the history mm. of this country actually mm -hmm. in, details. in detail in detail yeah. in a lot of detail mm -hmm. tell you about the second uh, president they tell you about his uh, you know rise in politics they tell you about the people he worked with uh, the people also telling their story these are the newspapers that you want to keep somewhere mm -hmm. for posterity. Now let's talk about the Moy family as well. Okay. And as uh, that last one week we've seen, you know, the Moy family come out and they have they have shown us what 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 first of all they are grieving, yes, but also the some that unity of a family that you see in a family. There was all, all this manner of talk of course before that, you know, is this uh, what happens when if if Moy dies, what yeah. happens to the family, what happens to the sons, are they going to work together? Clearly Clearly, Mze had done a good job yeah. mm -hmm. of bringing mm -hmm. up a family and putting them together. Mm -hmm. Because, like, what we now saw yesterday, the Rongai MP, um, who's now the current elder son of um, the, the family, being given the baton, the rungu, uh, by the elders, and then saying, yes, I'm the head of the family, but when it comes to politics, my younger brother, yeah. Gideon, will take on the mantle. And it, that was decent white. stuff. I in think. yesterday's paper, somebody mm. actually drew this analogy yeah. mm. with the sons of Jesse. David uh, was the youngest son mm -hmm. yep. oh. in the Bible, yes. And after all the sons had been called and none were found worthy in God's eyes, uh, someone prophet, asked, yeah. is there another? Is there another? Said, yeah, there's this guy who's looking up. He said, bring <laughs> him. Bring that one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
So, it's yes, the analogy was drawn well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think as far as setting examples for families, uh, we hear the stories of families feuding and, you know, people wanting to be the ones because of their age or their, how they, ca they came into the earth. This sets a good example as far as, you know. Indeed it does. Yeah. And even how they mm -hmm. conducted themselves throughout those days, you could see there's Decency. some proper organization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be receiving people at home when they come mm -hmm. to Kabarak? Who's going to be receiving people at home when they come to Kabarnet Gardens? How are we going to be uh, receiving the body and dealing with people when they come to Parliament to view Mze? How it, it was very clear that this family had this uh, with them. They had organized themselves. They had they were conducted themselves very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you look at that, it tells you of a tradition that had been set. Mm. Right. If you find a funeral with elders like the ones you saw in the regalia, mm. it tells you that the man they were burying was somebody who had time for these people. Yep. Mm. And that's why even in death, you still found that they were given, there was a space mm. that was, was given to them. Mm -hmm. Then the picture that actually uh, made me smile, it really brought a smile to my face, was when they, this picture of the citizenry. Mm. Forget the big tent where the dignitaries were sitting. Wananchi wa kawaida. Mm -hmm. No, just Wananchi wa Kenya mm -hmm. was sitting, mm -hmm. okay? Even these politicians are Wananchi wa Kenya. Remember, your surgeon into politics and being a Mwishimiwa is brief. Mm. It's not permanent unless no. you die while, while you're on the job. Mm. And even then, it comes to an end. Mm. But when it comes to an end, why don't you follow? Look what, what the president says. He says he's going back to become an ordinary citizen. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. So it's just that when you're in a position of leadership, you are a citizen, yes, but, but a, a citizen VIP. with a duty. Mm -hmm. So we accord you that uh, prominence and we accord you the respect and we call you Mwashimiwa. Yeah. Right. Mm. But the real Mwashimiwa are the people who actually vote, the people who gave you the job. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Those are the Mwashimiwa. That's yeah. true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. That picture was beautiful. It, it was. was. And the numbers. And the and the, yes, and then there was a caption in yesterday's paper of 300 chefs and cooks who had been brought in to cook. <laughs> and you see, the facility where the funeral was being held, you know, there's a university and a school. Mm. Mm. So they actually have facilities Space. for cooking. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, all those who had felt short changed at Nyaya Stadium. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, because they were given breakfast and lunch yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Uh, it worked very well. Yeah, it yeah. worked very well. And, and the organization, mm -hmm. even on the grounds as well. Uh, Indu, you mentioned briefly yesterday the NYS and mm. how the, the proper security organs had mm -hmm. organized themselves. Yeah. Very well done. Coming right. back to Gideon and the symbolism of, of him being given the, the rule. The button, yeah. Right? What does that signify? First of all, to me, it was an obvious thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's clear. I mean, it was, it was yes, it was... It was proper symbolism that uh, the, the, the eldest son is given mm. and then he decides, all right, to so... give it to his younger brother, yeah. Then I give it to you, but also I'm holding you accountable. Yeah. If you don't do it the right way, if you don't revive Kanu, if you don't uh, lead us in the right path, I'm going to take it up. Or even mm -hmm. if you don't take your... When we basically, we're asking you to be a leader and mm -hmm. if you don't take that position right. and exert, you know, some kind of authority as leader, mm -hmm. then you would be letting people down and I think all of that is in that what he was handing over was saying really we're looking up to you now and we're saying you know fill the hole that has been left mm -hmm. yeah yeah and obviously the respect that he it went through the the elder son mm. then mm. to the then younger one. It would have been a little off if it just went from the elders went to down you. to mm. gain. Like, what's what, what happening? Are you assuming? Yeah, mm. well, yeah exactly. Are you, yeah, so, are and you at, assuming that uh, we are not here? At the risk of, of, of seeming a bit soft, I usually d gravitate a lot towards stories such as um, the traditions that surround w the, the way we do things. And I remember there are people who actually donated cows to the family for the burial. I think that was really sweet and just shows how there's a Kenyanness that we have that often gets lost when politics is all, all over the place. And, yeah, you and know, it doesn't matter the stage yeah. of the family, right? Yes, yes. We want to help. We want to help. Yeah, and then there's the debate raging on about the felling of the Mogumo tree Moi planted. It's on page 24 of mm. the standard. The tree, they say, uh, this Kikuyu Council of Elders says the tree is special to us because one, it is sacred, and secondly, it was planted by the former president, who we respected. It reminds us of his first visit as president, and for these two reasons, we declined to have it cut, and it stands tall to date. What is a Mogumo tree in English? Is it a fig? It's it's one of fig, those. Yeah, it's a fig tree. Fig. It's a yeah. fig tree. Yeah, yeah, mm. it is. Mm. Sacred. But why is it sacred? That's where they used to pray. There's a story. They believe yeah. uh, that's where God is. I think. I don't know. There are certain sacred uh, prayers thing. are conducted under the Mugumu yes, tree. Yes. They, 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 under the, in the mountain. But there is a reason why mm -hmm. 
this particular tree because you of course you'll remember you'll, mm-hmm. you'll know that a mogumo tree um, is one that stays on for long mm-hmm. it lives long it lives yeah. long so this is this this you you know when you have this as a shrine mm-hmm. it's not going to be i am trying to recall there is there's easily. yet another tree mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. even lives longer really uh, y- yes there is the baobab no, baobabs don't live that long. Mm. And baobabs are not found in the, in in the in high altitude mm. areas. Mm. No, they're not. I, when I remember, I will tell you, there, there is yet another We're tree about the mm. mustard. Yeah. that lives even up to 300 years. Mm. Mm. And it's a massive tree. Mm. And it is found in central Kenya. Is, it, is, is the fig tree also symbolic in Christianity? It is. It is. Do you it think is. there's something to it? Well, one, <laughs> one of the things, yeah. I remember, uh, if one talks of deities, uh, mm. you talk of a heaven. All right, you talk of a shrine, and then you talk of a temple, or you talk of a church, or you you talk of a mosque. Mm-hmm. Now, in when people had their traditional beliefs in deities, and they didn't have these structures that we speak of, they had it to be a specific place that they considered sacred. Now, mm-hmm. a tree that lives that long yeah. is likely to have significance because generationally, yeah. it outlives everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. So it's given prominence. Right. I still do not know why, but I will find out mm-hmm. why these particular the trees were tree. given prominence. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But there is a, I'm sure there's some very logical and very sound reason why. I think longevity plays a part in this. Yes. It does. And because I think history, history yeah. 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 True. Right? Mm. So other stories, of course, uh, making headlines um, at, uh, outside the burial of the former president, uh, include what we have, of course, uh, the pullout today being Thursday. The mm-hmm. pullout in the standard is home and away. The cash cow that's milking Kenya dry. Now yes, let's come back and that. talk about this after you take this short break. So the cash cow that's milking Kenya dry, that's what's in the headline, of course, of the home and away pullout today. This is the one that looks at the real estate sector in the country. It looks at stories from the real estate, looks at what's happening. First of all, what do you think of that headline, CT? The cash cow that's milking Kenya dry. Is it milking it dry on its own? <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> the cash cow that's <coughs> milking Kenya, Kenya dry. dry. That play of words, what are they trying to say? Exactly, suggest? because then is, is it a cash cow that is acting on its own or is there somebody pulling the reins? So there's a cash cow, but then there's also Kenya uh-huh. that is also being milked. So essentially, the reference and to the cash cow is a specific department mm-hmm. within uh, our esteemed government of Kenya. Is that not so? Okay. SGR. Mm-hmm. From SGR to mm-hmm. other mega projects, government is bleeding money, skewed and land compensation policies that have also distorted yes, property prices. I have actually referred to department mm-hmm. very specifically. Mm-hmm. I should have said ministry. Ministry. Yeah. But it's transport. Mm. Okay. And it's and roads. infrastructure. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, infrastructure, even better than roads, yes. Mm-hmm. But one of the things that I think has been commonplace in Kenya is w- people create or they come up with mega projects which cost a ton of money. And it's our never-ending story. Projects in complete money spent. Mm. It is a story that we see replicated even within the counties. So if that play of words is excellent in this context, if someone is saying this is the uh, cash cow that is milking, because remember, these like cash pro- cows should be giving you milk. Yes, yeah. but it isn't, but instead... It's, and that's it's the actually, promise, instead, actually. Yes. Instead, it's actually now milking taking you. From yes. you. Yes. Yeah. It's taking from you. It's yeah. taking from you. What should be you. giving you, mm-hmm. it's taking from it's you. It's taking from you. Mm-hmm. 14 minutes to 7 o'clock, this is a Situation Room, also broadcasting on KTN News, Morning Express. In the room, we have Eric Latif, C.T. Muga, Trick Singado, and Nduoko. Take a short break, and then we come back and continue and take a look at uh, what else is covered in the dailies today. Good morning. Spice FM, Kisumu. 96.1 Spice FM, Kisi. Mature, intelligent talk every morning. Spice up yourself. 